Well, hello there. Welcome back. So today I am going to go ahead and do a video that has been highly requested. I feel like I do say that frequently, but this one is definitely super, super, duper, duper highly. Um, everybody wants to know about the Hoover cordless vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the details. So if you are in the market of purchasing a vacuum, this is definitely going to be a video that is dedicated to you. And if you're not in the market for purchasing a vacuum, maybe you'll still enjoy it because this one is in it so i do have miss layla with me today in this video i am sitting in her play area so hopefully she'll play while i do this video so i did go ahead and jot some notes down because i wanted to make sure that i didn't forget anything and i wanted to kind of educate you guys on the vacuum so if you are in the market of purchasing a vacuum you pick the one that best fits your need vacuum is called the hoover cordless vacuum i purchased mine for a hundred dollars roughly minus my five percent that i get at target um but when i did look online to kind of get the average price of it it looks like it's around 159 but i know at target right now they have it on sale for around 130 which i'll go ahead and link down below the link from target so if you do want to purchase this vacuum at least you can get it at a good price so the vacuum is 22 volts which to me that's very foreign language i have no idea what that means but if you do speak vacuum language and you know what 22 volts means is that a good vacuum or not too good comment down below and let me know it is lightweight it's only 4.7 pounds which to me is great because this is the lightest vacuum i have ever owned all my other vacuums was one was a shark and one was another hoover and they were both on the heavier side it does have a long pole so if you do want to reach into certain areas maybe like under the couch or under a tv stand i did see someone vacuum their ceilings with it i wouldn't um but yeah if you want to vacuum your ceilings you could because it is long enough a really cool thing about the vacuum it is a two-in-one so if you do want more of a handheld vacuum at times you can just remove it from the long pole add your different spout to it and then you can go ahead and vacuum whatever you want holding it which of course i will insert some clips so you can see some different ways that you could use the vacuum so let's go ahead and jump into the pros and cons i feel like that's what everybody wants to know so let's just jump right in so yes like i said it is lightweight so it is only 4.7 pounds and as far as it being cordless it is cordless this is my first vacuum that i doesn't have a cord which is amazing i don't think i will ever go back to a vacuum that has one i never have to worry about plugging it in or Layla wrapping herself around the cord it's just awesome and the battery life is phenom so I vacuum every single day between two to three times a day now I don't do the rooms every day but I definitely do my kitchen my family and my living room every single day and like I said two to three times a day I only have to vac um, only have to charge my vacuum I would say every seven to ten days and now the which to me is great I'm not sure what it is out there with different vacuum life battery span I don't know um, with different vacuums but for this as it being my first cordless vacuum where I actually have to charge it I feel like that's really good so the cons to me in every product there is always a con nothing is ever perfect so this vacuum is definitely not perfect it can have some cool features added to it so it might be perfect one day okay, so it is top heavy now let me explain to you what that means now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the vacuum so this part of the vacuum is the heaviest part of the vacuum i feel like this is the four pounds is right here and then the 0 0.7 is the rest of the vacuum so this right here is very very heavy so example if i'm vacuuming and i don't know bella calls me she needs my help i can't just leave my vacuum in a corner or like lean it against the wall or lean it against the chair anything like that because it is so top heavy it will fall to the floor <sighs> that is the only part of the vacuum that i want to say that i dislike a lot 
just because for my lifestyle i have to be able to stop vacuuming put my vacuum somewhere knowing that it's safe and if layla crawls by it it's not gonna fall on her um and i feel like i can't do that with this one. i do know that if i do get another vacuum in the future i will look for certain features for example if it is top heavy being able to sit up or click where it just like because i have seen um a vacuum that it's kind of like the same style which i feel like more vacuums are coming out like this now um but you could just click it and it will stand like a regular vacuum which is great because that's what i want so i really hope that hoover does um kind of fix that with this vacuum or maybe they'll come out with a new one that sorry she ran out of her snacks um or they'll come out with a new one like a new model that does have that feature for it to stand up but other than that i mean i love the vacuum it does its job it's great um and i'm super happy with my purchase so yeah if you are in the market for buying a cheaper but good reliable vacuum i would definitely look into this vacuum like i said you can get it at target right now for 130 dollars and if you have your red card even better um and yeah that's basically it go ahead and leave some questions down below if i didn't answer all the questions that you guys wanted but yeah leave them down below go ahead and subscribe if you have not already i do motherhood lifestyle videos um and i would love to have you a part of my family and go ahead and give this video a like if you finally got what you wanted a vacuum products review it was long needed and i finally did it for you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time